Ever pondered why some Americans pack up and leave the Great White North? What could possibly drive them away from the land of maple syrup and free healthcare? Today we're going to address this thought-provoking question. You see, many Americans venture northward to Canada for a variety of reasons, yet a surprising number eventually decide to return home. Intriguing, isn't it? What could possibly compel them to bid adieu to Canada? Stay tuned as we delve into the top reasons that have Americans saying goodbye to Canada. First up, let's tackle the money matter. Yes, economics plays a significant role in the decision to leave Canada. You see, Canada's tax system is quite different from that of the United States. It's not uncommon for some Americans to feel the pinch of higher taxes north of the border, which can be a significant factor in their choice to depart. Moving on to the cost of living, it can be a bit of a shocker. Cities like Vancouver and Toronto are notorious for their high living costs. From rent to groceries it can all add up pretty quickly, making it a tough ride for some folks. Lastly, let's talk job opportunities. While Canada has a robust job market, it might not align with everyone's career aspirations or skill set. The American economy being larger and more diverse might present more opportunities in certain sectors, so the economic landscape in Canada might not be everyone's cup of tea, leading some to make the choice to return to the States. Moving on, let's not forget the cultural differences. They might be our neighbors, but the cultural gap can feel like a chasm to some. Canada, with its rich cultural tapestry, can sometimes present challenges for Americans. Take the language barrier, for instance. While English is widely spoken, certain provinces like Quebec are predominantly French-speaking. This can be a hurdle for those not versed in the language. Then there are societal norms and customs. Canadians are known for their politeness, and this extends to their rules of etiquette. For example, it's common to take off your shoes when entering someone's home, a practice not universally followed in the States. And let's not forget about the nuances of Canadian humor, which can be dry and self-deprecating, compared to the more straightforward humor often preferred by Americans. Indeed, navigating through a different culture can be a daunting task for some, pushing them to seek the familiar comfort of home. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the weather. Canada's chilling winters are not for the faint of heart. With temperatures often plunging well below zero, even the most adventurous might find themselves longing for a touch of warmth. The snowfall, while beautiful to behold, brings its own set of challenges. From shoveling your driveway every morning to dealing with icy roads and sidewalks, it can certainly feel like a full-time job. And let's not forget about the short daylight hours in winter. The sun setting in the early afternoon can be a real mood dampener and can significantly impact daily routines. Summers, on the other hand, can be quite pleasant but are often short-lived, leaving you yearning for more. The weather extremes in Canada can be a major deterrent for some Americans, accustomed to more moderate climates. Unsurprisingly, the freezing cold can have some Americans dreaming of warmer climes and heading back home. So, what have we learned? Why do some Americans bid adieu to Canada? Well, it all boils down to three main areas that we've discussed throughout this video. Economic factors, cultural differences, and weather conditions. Let's revisit them briefly. The economic reasons are certainly compelling. Some Americans find the cost of living higher in Canada with increased taxes and potentially lower wages. The job market might also feel a bit confined compared to what they're used to back home. Then we have the cultural aspect. Despite the similarities, Canada and the USA are two distinct countries with unique identities. The differences in lifestyle, social norms, and even the metric system can be a tad overwhelming for some. And lastly, the weather. Oh, the weather. The Canadian winters can be brutal, especially for those hailing from sunnier states. The sub-zero temperatures, heavy snowfall, and shorter daylight hours can be a real deal-breaker. But remember, these are only some of the reasons. Each individual's experience is unique, and their decision to leave or stay is influenced by a multitude of factors. Maybe it's a longing for familiar faces, the allure of new opportunities, or just the comfort of home. In the end, it's a personal decision, influenced by a myriad of factors. But one thing is certain, whether in Canada or the USA, home is where the heart is.